wet Monday morning. Not fun. Underground's cancelled. Off to go and see George putting in, or starting to put in, the switchboard at the childcare centre that we've been doing. Um, but yeah, it's pretty fucking miserable here. Had a lot of rain overnight. So anything outside has been canned. So hopefully you can start smacking these switchboards in, or the switchboard in this week, and then we can push the undergrounds out to next week. Uh, yeah, that's what's happening this morning. Let's go check it out. Sorry, yes, because of the fact that they've got yes. yes. Yeah. Um, it's got all the numbers, so it's like a little bit easier for it. Compared to the one on the plane. What's going on, Georgie? What's going on, mate? The big day's here, the board's here. Just kind of uh, running through basically how it all works, because there's a bit going on. That's going to be your security thing here. And that's going to be... That must go out to the That must go back. Alright, so that's a pair there. Yeah. And then... Yeah. Security, electrical contact, one and two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we've obviously taken over this job after it was all roughed in, so we kind of just... Make sure everything's here, making a bit of a plan for our switchboard and covering our ass basically, make sure everything's all sweet. So one of the doozies on this one was the way these conduits got brought out of the of the slab, so obviously this was done before we took over, and that was a, always an issue for us, is the way this was done. So there was no blocking in the wall for the board, so the board never had blocking, so doing a wall mount board was not an option unless we ripped, and it's all fire check, so ripping all that off to try and get blocks in to wall mount the board. So what we decided was, obviously these were getting chopped down, and then we spoke to the switch wall manufacturer to manufacture this plinth here. So this is our way of lifting the board off the ground to be able to have the conduit. So see well that, when that'll come in, those conduits will come out on an angle like to here. And it'll be chopped down and it'll let it allow our board to sit perfectly on top of that. So we've got a new trophy, which is um, switchboard of the year at our end of year awards party, Christmas party. So. This could be a good contender. Best residential, best commercial, I reckon. Alright. Don't feel a little wonder inside so far, so nearly nearly at completion through here. Right. So the little here is the clutch of Pro Series, so we use this on all commercial projects. So what you do is you'll stick your label here, and then when the cover goes on, there's a clear strip down the side, so you can do that. Same with your lighting label for circuits and stuff. So this will correspond back to the circuit breaker in the switchboard. Yeah, so it's that clear strip there. So, obviously when that goes on, click it on, the label will come through the back, so there's no need for track light labels. So it's a good little tip if you want a job where you've got to do label everything, like obviously this is an e easy option to do a proper labelling job instead of sticking tape on the front or a trap light label on the front. We'll do these, stick it on the side here, put your strap on, they look, they look really good. So it's the Clipsal Pro Series, it's Iconic Pro. Buttons, you see how you've got 473, 12, yeah. 4, 7, 
is that the well, automatic? It's the manual. It's the manual. So this is. Would the, that be the manual or the automatic? Because the PE cell was supposed to be on there. Yeah. So it must be when it goes to manual. Sorry. When it goes to auto, it's supposed, it's to, supposed run to run through the PE cell, cell. But there is yeah. no PE cell. Yeah. going to come down to the hardest part of dissecting the other work. Yeah, yeah this, this is, is where it's yeah. because this is the problem. So with it only having seven and they're not labelled, like if it had been me, like I said, we would have, aren't we guessing that they've combined these two activity rooms and that they've combined the corridor and reception and all the external lights obviously don't have an emergency lighting allocation. So we're not 100% on that. So it's going to be a case of finding out when we power it up and just labelling them. Like Three, three, uh, four, five, yeah, six, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. oh, yeah, cool. Wind those into there. So move the contents. Move all so this move across. Move all this. This will all just slide over, which will need to be unlocked because it's locked in. Yeah. Push those over. Yeah. Add another one of these in because we've got seven. Do they make an ankle? Probably not. Eh? No. I think I've got that now, and I'll order that today. Well, I'll figure out all the breakers and shit I need as well. Move that across. Get a list for you. And then make your list and wire from. Yeah, from here to here, then you've got your tails from your emergency lighting that correspond yeah. into your top side. Yeah, sweet. Okay, cool. And we'll rewire that the same. And then, yeah. So then, George, you get it? Yeah, pick it up. Well, well we're, we're going to strip it all down you're first. Gonna, you're going you're gonna to stand it up and just get every work on it once it's up? Yeah, yeah. It'll be so much easier to work on once you get it up. Yeah. I think you'll be surprised as well. Once you take the doors off, once you take the door off and the escutcheon panel off, it'll. You'll yeah. drop the weight right down. And that's why I want to go do this, get our groupings together, make yeah. group our cables, and then sort of land it out of there. Because then, you got tape measure? Move over and come, come through the come middle. Through. That's yeah. why we put this bit of tray here. Yeah. So these will these will all move over onto here and here, left and right sides. Big, big tray job. So, yeah, you can tie it back. So, bring everything in, yeah. hide it all through here. And then the things we need to loop back up to the contactors, yeah. just bring your feet back around, looped under, under here, and yeah. then duck, duck back out in, in this bit of ducting, and then shoot out like that. Man, that's awesome. This is a meter panel that goes out the front of the property down here. So. Ah, Sydney, Sydney crew. allow that we'll need another 20 amp RCBO from here yeah. and then we'll jump. Body. So like we are, we haven't used this manufacturer before and the only reason I guess we got onto them was because the, uh, the the guy before had yeah. already sort of got a quote of them so we thought we'd honour that and proceed with them. Cool. But it's a nice, pretty nice looking book. get a board transported but these guys put these sticks in there but make sure you always test your connections on everything even the manufacturers ones to make sure that they are all torqued and tight after especially after this coming up from Sydney
get the cables in, mate. <laughs> as well, or just? No, I think you'd be able to, you should be able to flow them back and we'll get some, um, get some more of these here. Yeah, I got those, yeah. And then we can right, have so them in the back. Out. Yeah. And then when you're grouping oh. these, that's like, so we'll put a bigger bit of tray in that comes across. Yeah. And then have our glands laid out and then stack them in the same way that you're going to be doing fitting off here. So like, say you want to have your stack have like this, the, this group in a stack because they're going to go together. And because you can pull them up right. into the roof and bring them back down, yeah. we'll flip them up where they're going to come, time down nicely, and then we know like those five cables will be grouped together. And then same thing, like obviously they're three face, so it's fine, but then like you might do like these five in another stack, these five in another stack. Yeah, and then I, tie them I in. Would also, I reckon push push this all over. See how you've got heaps of general space left on this side that wants to use. I reckon Reese push this all over. And then you've got a tie on the back then. Just you can take this off. And we'll bump this over as well because obviously you can have your content in it, but let's push it all out. Like, because it doesn't need to be the way they've justified it. Yeah. They can push it over so it gives you more room to work on left and right hand side. Yeah. And then with the groups, do you reckon it's worth, like, say, I do a group of five? Do I bring it all the way and flip that all the way off, make it all tidy, and then do like another layer? Or earths. Yeah, bring everything in bring everything and then strip in. it in. Strip it all, do all your earths, do all your yeah, neutrals. So then, yeah. Yeah. Right. So there will be a nice group. You can you're gonna get away, you're gonna have a lot of like you're gonna have room to hide though. Yeah. It's gonna be a bit Wait. It's tight because there's so much control gear, like it's yeah, a tight board. It... <clears throat> so yeah, looking forward to having a crack at this board. A bit going on, but uh it'll be a fun little challenge. Uh stick around and come check it out when we start wiring it in.